Before we start this program, please watch these special instructions to see how your Mirabelle doll works. The Mirabelle and Me video plays just like a regular videotape. Mirabelle will come to life as she talks and blinks I'm when she real. watches the video. After your parents have put batteries into Mirabelle, sit with her so that her butterfly pendant is facing the television set. Mirabelle shouldn't be too far away or too close. Between three and 10 feet from the TV is just right. Mirabelle can be posed to either stand or sit with you. Once the videotape is playing, you should push the button once on Mirabelle's butterfly pendant. She'll say, Will you be my friend? To tell you she's ready to watch TV with you. Then look at Mirabelle's earrings. If she can see the television screen, her earrings will light up. If you don't see these lights, try moving Mirabelle a little bit until the lights come on. If the lights still don't come on, check your Mirabelle and Me instruction book. Mirabelle will talk and come to life when she watches her video. She also talks I anytime you want her to when you press the button on her special butterfly pendant. Each I time you press the button, she will talk. Now, let's go on a magical adventure with Mirabelle. There's magic in the friendship between Mirabelle and me. I want to tell you the most amazing story. It happened to my friend Mirabelle and me. One day, I wanted some of my other friends to play with us. But no one seemed to be home.
Excuse me, is this your garden? It belongs to some old lady. Are we allowed to eat the candy? Of course! I come here every day. Hooray! Are you sure? I mean, did the old lady say it was all right? Oh, there's so much candy here, she'll never miss it. I think we should ask. Oh, don't be such a spoil sport. Please, Nicole, it tastes so good. What's the point of a candy garden if you can't eat it? Yeah, what's the point? Wanna see a gumdrop tree? My name's Gwendolyn. What's yours? Mirabel. I like it. Gwendolyn and Mirabel. Two great names for two great new friends. Please don't eat this candy. I'm growing it to give to Santa for Christmas stockings. Thank you so very much, Matilda the Sorceress. Mirabelle, the candy's for Santa. What? Would you just leave us alone about the candy? But it's important. Come on, Nicole, I'm having so much fun. But the sign says... If you don't want to eat it, you don't have to. But you don't have to spoil it for Mirabelle. Some friend. Would you guys please listen? Gwendolyn's right. You're spoiling it for me. And you're not letting me talk. Talk all you want. We're going to have fun. Let's get some caramel flowers. Mirabelle! Caramel's my favorite. <sighs> These are the best. But I'm getting kind of full. You want to come over to my playhouse? I've got about a billion toys. Plenty to share with my best friend. Come on! Cakes with cobs of maple circle, but I really, really, really like houses painted purple. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that won't do at all. Let's see. I love to eat chocolates, but give me pinkish polka dots. <laughs> 
What do you think? It's neat. Yeah, it was definitely time for a paint job. Hi, <laughs> I'm Matilda. The sorceress? Yes, but I don't need any magical powers to see that you're worried about something. What is it? I can't find my friend Mirabelle. She went with a girl called Gwendolyn. <gasps> you let your friend go with Gwendolyn? Is something wrong? Nothing we can't fix. Come along. Gwendolyn is just like her dad, the Duke. Selfish, spoiled, and mean-spirited. We've got to find Mirabelle. I know. And that's just what we're going to do. Over, under, out, and in. Find that nasty Gwendolyn. What's that? It's a leg. Gwendolyn's? I think so. We're getting there. It's her! It's Gwendolyn! Head and shoulders, knees and toes. Socks and dress and shoes and bows. Eyes and nose and mouth and chin. That's what makes up Gwendolyn. Bows for ways and bright red hair. Bright red hair? Lots of toys and stuck-up airs. Stuck-up airs. Freckled dots like cinnamon. That's what makes up Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn! What's wrong with you? I miss Nicole. But you've got everything you could ever want here. I know. I love all these things, but I want to share them with Nicole. If she were here, she'd say, don't play with this. Don't touch that. You know how she is. Sometimes. Remember how she was in the candy garden and the fight you had? But I remember the fun times we had together, too. I miss those rainy afternoons When you blew up those big balloons the little trips we took You drew a picture of me in your book I miss singing you a song Making believe all day long Now I'm missing playing dress Can I mess up? I wish that you could see me now And you could hear my voice somehow I miss all the things we used to do But most of all Try to beg. Had so much fun, but burnt the cake. Even though we're far apart, you'll always be here inside my heart. I wonder if we'll meet again. Or wild. I've got to get Mirabelle. I wish I could go with you. 
Why can't you? The Duke put a spell on me. If I step on his property, I'll turn into a toad. But I can give you a bit of magic to take along to help you if you need it. I'm going to make you a magic wand, just in case you get into trouble. <laughs> Whiffly, waffly, tungly wood, make this stick into... Oh dear, how does it go? Make this stick into grubbly good. Freeze fast your foes from their toes to their nose. Simperty, somperty, uh, that's how it goes. Wow! Ah, it worked! <laughs> now, if you get in a jam and just wave this wand... Snickle, snackle, snice, stiff as ice. Thanks. Now, you have no time to lose. Just follow the cobble road. The Duke's place is at the top of the hill. Good luck. Aren't they fantastic? Can they really fly? Anywhere I want them to. You don't mean we're gonna... Yes. We're going to ride them. But are we allowed to? Not unless the Duke says. I can do whatever I want here. Saddle up two horses for me right away, stable boy, or you're in big trouble. How am I supposed to get past those dogs? Excuse me, sir. Okay, you're excused. No, I mean I was wondering. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm wandering too. Not wandering. I'm wondering. Nice to meet you, wandering. My name's Lester the Jester. No, my name is Nicole, and I'd like to ask you a question. What are you doing? I think better this way. <clears throat> now, what's the question? Do you know any way I can get past this wall onto the Duke's property? Hmm. Mr. Green is the one you should see. He lives over yonder and will help for free. How can I find him? Tall Mr. Green has many charms. He has just one leg, but many arms. You're talking in riddles. <laughs> well, that's what happens when I stand in my head. I can only talk in riddles. You're a very strange man. Now remember, tall Mr. Green has many charms. He has just one leg, but many arms. Mr. Green. Tall Mr. Green has many charms. Just one leg, but many arms. What do I look like? A tree, of course! They're totally safe. Are you sure? Don't tell me my best friend is becoming a spoil sport. Okay. Mission. That's fine with me. How do you make these things land? Just had a roll. 
hold. I can't hold on. Hold on, Mirabelle. I'm coming. It's her fault. She made me do it. She got on first. I had to follow to get her to come back. That's not true. You're in big trouble, little girl. Guards! Freeze! <laughs> I said get her! They were supposed to freeze. But they're sneezing. Freeze? Sneeze! I think the one is a little mixed up. Just like Matilda. Matilda's magic? I should have known. Give me that thing! Free! These rhymes with freeze. I thought you were my friend. I am! I let you play in my playhouse. But you didn't help me when I needed it. Well, I was having so much fun. I didn't feel like stopping. I'm sorry I left you in the candy garden. And I'm sorry I got mad at you. So, we're still friends? <laughs> friends again? Yes, totally. Forever and ever. Cool. Cool. It's time to go now. But we're having so much fun. Can't we stay? You'll come back again for lots more adventures. Mirabelle, that was the most amazing, incredible thing. Nicole, where have you been? Just, um... Playing with Mirabelle. Hey, where were you guys? Making this for you. A friendship bracelet. It's beautiful. And one for Mirabelle, too. <laughs> That's cute. What do you think? I think friends are the best thing that could happen to you. Isn't it just fantastic? Come step inside and see. Anything is possible for Mirabelle and me. Our story is just beginning, and it will never end. Each day will bring adventure, cause I have a special friend. Well, you might call it magic, and anyone would agree. There's magic in the friendship between Mirabelle and me. Well, you might call it magic, and anyone would agree. There's magic in the friendship between Mirabelle and me. Somewhere a horse is flying as high as high can be. You can fly into the sky with Mirabelle and me. When you believe in friendship, your magical dreams come true. When you have a friend like Mirabelle, the magic can be yours too. Well, you might call it magic, and anyone would agree. There's magic in the friendship between Mirabelle